Hey there! I would like to show you a web server demo running on Artie. Artie is a $99 Artec 7 35T FPGA evaluation kit. Artie comes with the Artie board built around the Artec 7 35T FPGA. The Artec 7 device is all about performance, low power, and low cost. On Artie, in the Artec 7 FPGA fabric, we have implemented an embedded application using the Xilinx Microblaze soft core processor. Microblaze is the industry's best FPGA-based soft processor, as measured by raw DMIPS per megahertz performance, customization, and flexibility. On the Artec 7 device, the Microblaze processor can deliver 300 DMIPS of processing performance. Artie also comes with a full-featured license for the Vivado Design Edition tools. It's node locked and device locked to the A35T, but for $99 bucks, you're getting all the features of the Vivado Design Edition. The demo I'm going to show you is implementing a free RTOS LWIP web server embedded application with the Xilinx Microblaze processor. This demo uses Microblaze, a DDR3 memory controller, a 10100 Ethernet Mac, a UART, and some GPIO, all implemented in the high performance fabric of the Arctic 7 35T FPGA. Today I'm going to show you a demo running the free RTOS LWIP web server, but if you visit xilinx.com slash you'll be able to download this reference design along with a tutorial user guide on how to set up this project and build it yourself. The Vivado Design Suite accelerates seamless IP integration of your design on the Microblaze Softcore processor. It also offers the industry's only free, full-featured simulation tool with mixed language support and no code line limits. Vivado Design Edition also includes the embedded SDK tools. We're going to use the SDK to load and run the free RTOS uh, LWIP web server demo. On Artie, inside the Artec 7 device, we've implemented a board support package, a BSP, and the driver layer. We've also built an LWIP TCIP stack along with a build of the free RTOS operating system. On top of that, we're running a web server. And the web server will serve up a web page when connected to a browser. While this demo is relatively simple, it shows a lot of individual parts and packages all working together. You'll be able to take this reference design and use it to build even more complex application-specific projects. In this case, we're just using the TCP IP protocol with a browser to send and receive data. We're reading switch settings on the board and setting LED values and displaying them on the served up web page. But you could use this basic design to build a project where you could monitor the status of hardware in a remote location. Okay, let's connect up some cables and power on Artie. Artie can be powered by the USB JTAG UART port or a 5 volt wall wart. Today I'm going to use the USB power because as part of this web server demo, we'll also use a UART terminal window in SDK. You'll need a standard USB-A to micro-B cable. Plug the micro-B cable into the JTAG UART port on Artie, and then plug the other end into your PC. Next, we will also connect a standard Ethernet cable between the Artie RJ45 Ethernet connector on the Artie board and your PC. You'll also need to set up your network to be able to connect to the Artie board. Go to your Start menu and open the Control Panel. Select the Networking and Sharing Center. On the left-hand side, select Change Adapter Settings. Select Local Network. Open Properties. Select Internet Protocol 4. Select Properties. And select Use the following IP address. And set the IP address to 192.168 dot one dot one hundred and set the subnet to two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero now click OK and then close so now we've set up the fixed IP address that this web server is set to if you download and open this reference design you could change this to any IP address so that it could even work on your own network okay now the web server that will be running on already can talk to your browser the next step is to configure Artie using the Xilinx SDK tools. I'm going to launch the SDK and it'll open to my existing free RTOS LWIP web server project. All right, let's go to the Windows Start menu, select All Programs, go to the Xilinx Design Tools, 
and open up the SDK tools. The SDK Eclipse GUI will open and bring up my last project, which is the FreeRTOS LWIP web server. When this project is open, I'll download the bitstream that's included in the FreeRTOS image ELF file. Go to the Xilinx tools, select Program FPGA. This will open up a dialog pointing to your project bit file. Click Program. This will build the bit file with the ELF image and configure it already. Now I'm going to set up the terminal connection. Click on the terminal icon. You can see that it's set for COM22, 115200 baud, 8 data bits, 1 stop bit. Go ahead and click connect and you'll see that it connects after a few seconds. I'll run the web server application and get it loaded. Select the free RTOS LWIP web server demo, right mouse click, select run as, and then run configuration. Then click run. This will take a minute or so to run, so through the magic of time travel, we'll just jump ahead in time. You see the web server running on Arty is communicating with our terminal window and is showing that the URL is http colon slash slash 192.168.1.10. I'm going to copy and paste this into my browser. I'm going to open up Chrome because I like Chrome, but it'll run on any web browser. When it's open, paste the URL and load the page. This will let my browser connect to the web server running on Arty and serve up the Arty demo web page. The web server demo will let me exercise some of the features on Arty. On the serve page, click on the play demo button. I can turn on and off the LEDs or have them flash or change colors. I can run an FPU and add and subtract and multiply some numbers. I can sense that the push button switches have been pushed. And finally, I can run a CoreMark benchmark, which measures the CPU performance in relation to the system CPU clock. While this is a fairly simple web server, it shows you Microblaze running free RTOS, running an Ethernet port and gathering data from its environment. Curious? Good. I'll bet you're already thinking of cool things to add to this web server. This free RTOS LWIP web server is available as a reference design on the Arty product website at xilinx.com slash Arty. Arty is a really cool evaluation platform. For only 99 bucks and with hundreds of Arduino shields and digital P mods available, you can learn something new and build something awesome. Go on, get your creativity on.